Heavenly Father, for this beautiful day, for this beautiful venue, for this beautiful couple, we give you thanks. We're thankful for all the family and friends that could be here together to celebrate this wonderful occasion. And we're so grateful for that. They say if you have one true friend in this world, then you're extremely lucky. Well, Rachel is that person for me. She has been by my side through it all, and I would not be who I am today without her. In all of the years I've known Rachel, I can say I have truly never seen her as happy as I have since Brennan has been in her life. Who would have ever thought she'd meet the love of her life on a spring break cruise with her mom? <laughs> but <laughs> I will never forget the day Rach got back from that trip and immediately texted me about this cute boy she was already claiming to marry one day. <laughs> you like it? I love it. Sorry. You're okay. Oh God, you're gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Rach, for being my biggest cheerleader, my best hype girl, voice of reason, and best friend. Having you by my side has been one of my biggest blessings in life. Brennan, um, you're one of the greatest guys I've ever met, and I'm lucky enough to, to call you one of best friends. From the beginning, when you offered to help a guy you barely knew uh, move into his apartment, you know it was clear how selfless and, uh, and caring that you are. Brennan's the type of guy to do anything for those he cares about, and that caring and passion flows into everything he does and has always been something that I've looked up to. Whether it's uh, being there for his friends, playing rugby, uh, running marathons, or most importantly, his relationship with Rachel, um, it's clear to see. And I can say for certain I'm a better person because I know you. Um, and I'll tell you I love you and shed a tear any day. <laughs> Rachel Maxwell, I love you, and you are my best friend. You are my best friend in this entire world, and I know that there is no one else out there that I could call my soulmate besides you. You are interesting, charismatic, and as much as it pains me to say, you are funny. <laughs> Finally. You're loving, and you're tender, and you're kind, and you're sweet, and these are all traits that I love about you. I'm excited that I get to spend today, tomorrow, and the next and the next together with you by my side. To my Brendan, I think about the day when I get to tell our future kids how their mom and dad met. I can't wait to tell them someday that you can meet your person in moments when you least expect it. You found me at a time where I thought I didn't have room to love another person or worthy enough of being loved, and you proved me wrong almost immediately. You've shown me that in more ways than I can ever count how to be loved and how to be cared for. You show me what real love is supposed to feel like and look like. This feels like just the beginning for us. I can't wait to see where being husband and wife takes us. I hope we never stop learning new things about each other. I hope we never stop growing together and growing stronger as we enter this new phase together. It's so evident the love and admiration Brendan has for you. I could not be happier knowing you have found your best friend, your husband, and your other half all in one. As someone who has loved Rachel for all of these years, thank you, Brendan, for loving my friend so well. Nothing makes me happier knowing she has found someone so supportive, thoughtful, loving, and always willing to put her first no matter what. I couldn't have asked for a better person for my best friend. You two have created such a beautiful life together, and I have watched you two go through some of the best times together and stand by each other's side through some of the toughest. You truly are my best friend. I know it's cheesy, but in the entire world, you're the only person I trust with my heart. We will not falter, and we will make it through anything. I vow to stay true to myself, and I vow to stay true to you in our marriage. Even though I was the one who bought you the first drink, I was the one who messaged you on Instagram, I was the one who kissed you first, and I was the one that said I love you first. Those are the greatest firsts I've ever had in my life. I didn't know that they're gonna be my last. I vow to always keep that feeling, that same feeling, for the first time that you said I love you, and on that first time that we went on our first date. Through every good day and bad day, no matter how hungry or tired either one of us gets, I promise to always feel that feeling. 
and I want you to know that for the rest of our lives, I will always be there for you. I vow to continue being the man that you fell in love with, to meet every expectation and goal that you have of me, for better or for worse. I want you to know that you will always be supported from me, from my family, and everyone that loves you here today. By the power vested in me, by the great state of Florida, most importantly, the internet. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. My little princess married her prince on this beautiful day, and Prince Brendan now has a beautiful wife. So get used to correcting all of those who cannot spell or say your new married name, Shemrife. The time has flown by from the first time I held you to now in your wedding dress. So as long as I live to the day that I die, you will always be my little princess.